The UT San Antonio Red Runners, or Road Runners. I, I, I wonder how we're going to feel on this one. Jeff Trailer absolutely turned that program around last year. Correct. They have talent. Frank Harris was able to get them talent there. He just could not coach it for the last two years, and then he got fired, and they bring in Trailer, who I thought this was a joke of a hire, but this is a guy that understood Texas high school recruiting, that understood uh, all the things that make a team work. Remember, he coached under Chad Morris at Arkansas. I thought this was a disastrous hire. I, it felt like they couldn't find anybody else. And then last year, they go 7-5. and five. They hung in with some super tough teams last year. They, they gave BYU and Louisiana two of their closest games all year. Like, BYU was beating everybody by 40. And they went out to Provo and held it within a touchdown. I was just about to say, and played a game. Quarterback Frank Harris Jr. returns with running back Sincere McCormick. Uh, They should threaten the school record of 31.2 points per game this year. I think they're going to go over that. Defense, all 11 starters return. Their top 14 tacklers are back after switching to a 3-4 scheme last year. Uh, 21 starters back overall out of 22. The team chemistry has been fantastic under trailer. Uh, I think that they are going to compete with UAB for the division title. I'm going to go over Eight. They open up at Illinois, and then they've got Lamar. Uh, their other one of their other non-conference games is uh, is at Memphis. Um, I, you know, I think they're even good enough to compete with Memphis this year. Okay, like I think this is a really really good team. There's only two likely like projected losses on the schedule, and that's Illinois and Memphis, and both are Illinois on the road. Memphis, yeah. Other than that, they are favored in nine games this year, and I think they can get that done. Like, what's, I think, the, what's the team total? Team total is eight. Eight. It, it, it's not the eight over half. is juiced at minus 105. The under is minus 125. So I'm going to go over. Uh, SP Plus has them at 8-4. and four. FPI has them at 7-5. and five. I ain't even looking at it. I think that this team goes over. I think they can get to nine wins. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of want to say under. I kind of want to say seven, seven scares me. I, I, I do think this one's going to end up a push. Yes. But if I, I had to, if I if you told me, are they getting the seven or are they getting the nine, the chances of a team that's not used to winning and losing a game that they shouldn't lose is probably better than them winning a game they shouldn't win. That makes sense. That makes I sense. I think losing begets losing. I, I, it, you know, I'm making a gut call. Okay. So under eight. I'm going to go under the eight. Totally fair. But here's the thing. A, a seven, eight win season for San Antonio. Yeah. That's a hell of a season. Yes. From where they were very you know, much so. three years ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.